Hello folks, welcome to Net Cruiser Cars. I'm gonna go take my Volkswagen into the dealership because today is the day that I trade in my Mark 7 GTI. It's also collection day for my new car. Come on for the ride. But let me just tell you, buying a brand new car in the middle of winter is kind of stupid. It's really wintering hard today. Wait, check this out. Look at this. Oh, oh it's so wintering right now. But we're going to go take the car into the town and uh, drive my new car right back home. Alright guys, let's start the journey. So I got this in the summer of 2014. We're getting into some somewhat whiteout style conditions here, so uh, I'm going to uh, stop recording and then we'll come back when I have something else to say or I'm at the dealership. I'm choosing to buy a brand new car right now is because I'm treating myself for my 40th birthday. So happy birthday to me, new car day. I'm, that's why I bought a new car in the dead of winter. And because I did that, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that kind of reduces the, the nicety of buying a new car, uh, especially one like what I've just purchased. First of all, you do need winter tires. So uh, I've had to have them swap out the rims and tires. So when I pick it up, it has winters on it and uh, the summers will be in the back like I'm doing right now. I'm on my winters that I'm trading in with this car and the summers are in the back. I do not expect to roll in there and see a perfectly pristine car because of the weather that we've had. I told them to not rub on it. So all they've been told to do is spray it down if it's dirty and uh, vacuum at the interior. Do not dry rub anything. So don't, don't rub on the paint, don't rub on the dashboard, don't rub on the electronics. Um, you know, that's, that's the simplest way to tell them don't put a bunch of swirls and scratches in it is in basically just tell them do not rub on it. Now this car has, uh, since this was the very first year of the Mark 7 GTI, this car does not have the adaptive suspension. It does not have the power pack. So that means that it, this has the slightly smaller brakes. It does not have the Golf R brakes, as well as this does not have the front mechanical limited slip differential. This car does have active torque vectoring, but it does it all through the brakes. Uh, so it can sense when the car gets sideways when you do not intend for it to be sideways based on inputs and it will break an inside or an inside tire to try and straighten up the car and you can feel that happen sometimes when you're driving hard but this car has completely fully open differentials and front wheel drive all right we're approaching the final turn on the way to the dealership we just got to pass one and a half kilometers away all right here we go i guess we'll park in sir I don't quite know. Your destination is on the right. I did it. Golf R. The pearl white one. Friggin' rights I did. Put the lower down. Full tank? Full tank. I just did the little quick walk around pre-check. Everything looks okay on it so far but uh, I'll go in, sign the paperwork, and then we'll proceed and drive her home. All right, sun's, sun is setting, but this is it. Welcome to Net Cruiser 2019 and beyond, 2018 Golf R. I don't know why it's beeping at me so much. But... Okay, I gotta get my seat adjusted because it's way out of whack, and then uh, do some quick configurations. First thing we already did was I changed the nav screen to be dark mode only. That's quickly in view. I just set it to permanently be nighttime. Just because when it's on automatic, 
it's very bright um, I don't think that's necessary so I kind of like dark mode all the time especially for when you throw nav over here yeah then it goes then it goes dark mode in there cool and then you can hit okay to uh, change the size of your gauges this is something I've always been curious about why do dealerships do this why do they always have the the seatbelts plugged in they do that on the rear too and obviously on this it's not happening because I have my tires in there but um yeah that's kind of odd eh Now this is the DSG transmission. This is the new seven speed with the higher overdrive gear. So that's great. Finally, finally we get a good overdrive gear on the highway with the automatic manual. Um, yeah, so this is a Golf R. Lots of piano black in here, eight inch nav screen. Um, the navigation display can show up on the center cluster as well as then you can have CarPlay as well. Drive. Uh, we're gonna see what mode we're in here. We are in custom. Actually, let's just adjust this real quick. Uh, in custom, I want my dynamic comfort control in comfort. I want steering to be on race. I want drive system to be on uh, normal. Um, X ACC. What is that? ACC adaptive. I don't know what ACC is. We'll try normal. Front adaptive lighting system normal I don't know what this other stuff does but I thought that it might there we go engine sound race that makes an immediate difference as soon as you go in the race cool so we're in comfort suspension race throttle we're... has power seats and that takes some getting used to for me because I'm used to manual seats yeah that feels kind of weird having the race sound but with the normal pedal so we're just gonna do a quick scoot let's go just go into full race mode hell why not there now we're in race mode Hold your gears a lot more when you let off it doesn't upshift a lot I'm pretty hungry though so I'm just gonna go grab some food and then we'll drive home I want to configure the gauges a little bit more because I want to have my consumption and stuff in the whoa I went to go grab the clutch and I don't have a clutch oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I went to go press the clutch and brake and I didn't have a clutch anymore. <laughs> when you go from the same feel of car, because everything's the same in here, right, as my old one, but just newer. Um, and so yeah, I went to go grab for a clutch that didn't exist. All right, I've now configured my electronics how I want them. I just had a bite to eat. Let's go home. Got a coffee. <laughs> That's a loud exhaust when you start it up in racer. My wife is going to think it's broken. All right, let's go. Oh, the roll assist is aggressive. And my foot is not on the gas. We're just rolling ahead. <coughs> Still have to get used to the seat too. I think I might need to make some seat, more seat adjustments. Oh, the snow banks and the traffic. Oh, it's five o'clock. This is not a great time. Let's try to not smash the car up on the way home. Okay, we're gonna go in this gap. We're gonna put the all-wheel drive to the power. <laughs> My water fell over. This mirror is much improved for being able to see. I'm approaching the on-ramp to the highway. I've got it in my comfort race mode, so suspension's in comfort, but everything else is in race. <clears throat> so, let's get on the highway and see what it's like. I'm not gonna do full throttle red line pulls because the car only has 150 kilometers on it. I don't know what happened there, but it shut off. Okay, we got traffic. 
Hey guys, so now it's the next morning. The GoPro died on the way home, so I didn't get any additional shots and it got dark, so it wouldn't look that good anyway. Yes, this is the 2018 Mark 7.5 Golf R. And these are not the summer wheels, of course, because I live in Canada. We're in the middle of winter right now. So I asked specifically to get these wheels and these tires. This is a 17 by seven rim called a Dijon. And then for rubber, I got Nokian WRG4. Mostly I just wanted to show you this thing. The paint itself should look pretty darn good. Let me try and get a, a shot there on some paint. I'm hoping that it doesn't have too many swirl marks and I'll be able to uh, to get it looking pristine with some Zeno. This is the new Golf R. As I showed before, it's got the full leather seats with the perforated leather and the new silver stitching. R logo monster mats. All right, the digital gauge cluster's turning on right now. And the car has 230 kilometers on it. So I put on 100 kilometers yesterday, just driving it around for fun. It's gonna get some exhaust note. Yeah, that's my new Golf. Thing with it though, is it's it's still very understated. Unless you know what you're looking at, it looks just like a normal Golf. The GTI still has a better appearance package in my opinion. I do have some ideas on what I'm gonna do to make this car to look a little bit sportier, uh, but I'll make future videos about that. But I mean, it looks nicely aggressive from that front area. But from the side and from the rear three quarter, or even something like this, this just, this just looks like a normal Highline Golf. But it's not. But it's the Hot Dog Golf R. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.